have it, what do you do when you're painting and you've got loads of paint uh, at the end of the day? And also, what if you've been using the, the plastic plates to put your paint on, which used to be a great idea. It's something that I've been doing a lot of in the past because you don't have to do too much cleanup. You can just chuck them in the bin. But at the end of a workshop, for example, I end up with a whole garbage bag full of plastic plates and I'm changing my ways. We've all got to do our thing to help the planet. Um, I really noticed it when I was in Europe that things aren't just changing in Australia, it's in Europe as well. Um, you know, everybody's going through la sécheresse or the drought uh, in all sorts of places you would never expect it to happen. It's really, this global warming is no fun and uh, it's not great for the future so we all need to do anything we can and I'd love any tips that you want to send me to Facebook Messenger Jacqueline Coates. I'll share them with the audience. So here's what I've got in mind. I picked up these along the way to my Melbourne workshop in Horsham. It's just a, yes, once again, plastic, but we're going to use it over and over and over again. So I've given it one of these each to my students. It's got a lid so you can keep the, the, the paint wet at the end of the day and use it the next day. And also, we're going to turn it into a basic wet palette as well. Taking paper towel off a roll that looks like this. Okay, so taking the paper towel, just put in four sheets will do it. Or three sheets even will do it. And you can reuse this part of it as well. Phone a friend for some water. Now put in enough water that you don't turn it into a swimming pool, just so that the water absorbs that paper. Just going to splash in the, the rest of it. This will keep your paints damp and stop the tops of them drying out, because there's nothing worse when you're using acrylic, when the paint goes hard on you, right when you're in the flow of knowing what colours you want where and you're trying to get the thing down. Not everybody paints fast. It's great if you can paint fast because then you avoid that issue, but this really keeps your paint looking good. Now this is the old fashioned kind of grease proof paper. It's the sort that you know came from the canteen at school. Your Vegemite and cheese sandwich used to be wrapped in it. Your squash sandwich in the bottom of your school bag from mum was wrapped in it. It's um, absorbent. It's not like the new amazing baking papers that bounce the biscuits off the tray that's really resilient. It's actually more, much more porous. So we just place that. I like shiny side up, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I pop that in, I've just cut one to size off the roll. Cheap as chips, okay, and it's paper. So this is the part that we'll be changing over, just the paper element. And what's great about this is you don't have to wash it down the sink, as one of my students pointed out. Thank you, Pat, for that extra benefit. Pat's actually a school teacher, so uh, she's had to deal with lots of paint at the end of the class, so it was one of the first things she thought of. You can just actually peel this off. So if I put my paint out, I just put the paint out on top. That's now damp, but it's not wet. Just check that it doesn't have water dripping everywhere. Got it perfect. Okay, so after I finish my painting exercise, I'll basically peel off that bit of uh, paper and um, throw that part in the bin and put another piece of paper down on top and ready to go. At the end of the day, if my paints are in good shape and I want to work with them the next day, I just simply put the lid on top. And then there you go. And if you're going to be longer than a day, just pop the whole lot in the fridge and make sure the family don't eat it. And then you'll be fine. <laughs> Any tips that you've got for environmental? Uh, being an environmental artist, I'd like to know about them. It's great to have for us to share. We've all got to do our bit. We don't want to put paint down the sink. We don't want to uh, generate more wastage than we need to. Um, pick up and uh, put that in the paper recycle and separate your plastic. And um, buy in bulk, then you don't have so much plastic wrapping. Okay, thanks very much, and I hope that was helpful. Keep your paint nice and moist for summer. Uh, minimise wastage and minimise wastage for the planet.